Hello everybody, uh, welcome to another update video. Um, my name is Martin, I'm an Inkscape developer uh, trying to develop uh, features and fixes for normal Inkscape users. Uh, thank you very much for jo joining me this week. I want to give a big shout out and a big th thank you to all of my Patreon supporters who continue su to support my work here. Uh, if you'd like to join them, um, please consider um, sponsoring. You know, one dollar a month, you know, with enough individuals who join up, uh, can make a real big dif difference to making this uh, sustainable. Um, so, what do I have for this week? First thing is continuation from last week. The speed improvements in the dialogues. Uh, the we managed to get that merged in. So, thank you very much for all the, the testing. Um, it was a hard merge to get in simply because it touched so much code. And it made me anxious because of how um, frequently other people's work was breaking my my code because it just touched so many files. Uh, so the fact that that's merged into the main branch now means that uh, we can fix the bugs in the mainland and there won't be so many merge problems. Um, so you should actually be able to test it out. Uh, Windows, Mac and Linux builds are available and uh, with the bit of hope you should see some speed improvements especially if you were using the objects dialog xml dialog document properties if you had those open at the same time as you were trying to draw things uh, you should see speed improvements on the latest main developer branch now uh, that the next thing i want to show you is actually uh, finishing up the work that i was doing last december so last december i was working on this feature it's really cool feature designed by adam which is a new uh, objects dialog. Uh, the objects dialog was introduced from Ponyscape many many years ago and it's a sort of uh, expanded layers di dialog where instead of just showing layers it also shows lots of objects. Uh, rectangles, paths, that sort of thing. And a lot of workflows need this kind of net dialog in order to be able to quickly reorder and uh, look at what kinds of ob objects they, they have and select things in a um, sort of top-down level. Uh, sort of like the XML di dialog, but not quite so technical. Um, and what we wanted to do is we wanted to make an object dialog that was uh, beautiful. Right, which means focusing on the design, focusing on simplifying, focusing on making it look visually appealing. And I believe that's what we've achieved here. Uh, we mostly have it done. Uh, I've managed to uh, fix a lot of the issues that were remaining from last December. The reason why we couldn't get it into 1.1, it wasn't ready. Um, so we really want to get it done for 1.2. And uh, I think it's I think it's there. Like a lot of what's um, needed from an object dialog is available. Um, I like to dock it on both sides of the screen. It's uh, I like the colors, they're very good. Uh, I like the fact that each of the layers, their colors are by default dependent upon the name of the of the layer, but you can actually set that color uh, manually if you like. All of the objects that are inside that, that, that layer um, inherit the color, which is good. Uh, obviously you can set the uh, visibility and lock e each of the objects uh, manually. But um, this dialogue is at once a layers dialogue and an objects dialogue all into one. And um, there's a switch, which is currently just a simple button switch, but it might change to tabs. We're still looking at that design um, from just showing layers to showing all of the ob objects together. And the idea there is that uh, you want to remove the layers code so there's specific layers in dialogue. You want to remove that dialogue and then just have one base, uh, one set, one set of code. Uh, to give you an example, uh, this objects dialogue um, removes about two thousand five hundred lines of code and adds in about one thousand three hundred lines of code, the other abouts. So it's already a more efficient object dialog in and of itself. But we'll also get to remove another 1000 lines of code when we remove the layers dialog. And hopefully this contains all of the same fun functionality, the ability to add new layers, the ability to reorder layers. And uh, it shouldn't affect the layers uh, functionality because uh, the, of this switch that you can just show layers or you can show layers and, and, and objects. Uh, obviously you can rename things and you can uh, delete and uh, hopefully you should be able to drag things around. 
Uh, there's also some extra fun functionality in there, like you can see uh, the mask and the and the clipping uh, st status of objects. Uh, what we've done is we've put them as overlays on top of the icons instead of having their own uh, columns which take up width. Uh, we wanted to keep this dialog very uh, compacted. And so a, a lot of effort, I think, in this dialog has gone into the design. And uh, and the collaboration between me and Adam, um, between the designer and trying to make sure that the designer's approach is taken for, th for this one. Uh, hopefully that will land this week or next week. We'll, we'll see. Uh, there's a couple of bugs that still remain, but you can test it right now. There are builds for Windows, there are builds for Mac, there are builds for Linux for, for this one. Uh, thank you to the developers who actually fix the win Windows builds because this allows a lot more of the people who see these videos to try out these fun functions. And let me know if you find issues. Um, I'm incredibly keen actually also to see what you think of it. Do you think it's beautiful? Do you think it's nice? I, I hope so. Uh, it's going to look really cool in 1.2, I think. Um, this 1.2 is going to have so many great things in it. I, I honestly can't can't wait. Um, but that's about it for this week. Uh, please let me know if you have any ideas for what you might think I should work on for next week. And uh, I will see you all next week.